Hi, it's Bob from the Hopewell Branch, and we are back with some more trivia, and I think you will really enjoy this one. We've reached out to our youth services librarians, and they have a number of excellent uh, children's book and young adult book trivia questions for you. So you might want to grab the kids and gather around and do this one together. Um, some excellent questions. As we've done in the past, they will ask the question, pause for a few seconds. So if you need more time, just hit the pause button and then they will give you the answer. Thanks and uh, good luck to everybody with this quiz. Hi everyone. My name is Brianna. I'm a children's librarian from Hopewell Branch Library, and today I have a children's book trivia question for you. One of my favorite series when I was growing up was Paddington Bear. As you can see, I have the whole set. And my trivia question for you today is, where is Paddington Bear from? And the answer is, Although Mr. and Mrs. Brown met Paddington Bear on a railway platform in Paddington Station, Paddington Bear originally comes from Darkest Peru. Thanks. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Miss Michelle from the Robbinsville branch, and my trivia question for you today is in Eric Carl's The Very Hungry Caterpillar, what does the caterpillar eat that makes him feel all better? A nice green leaf. Thank you. Bye. Hi, my name is Susan and I'm from the Ewing branch of the Mercer County Library System. And I would like you to guess the title of this picture book. Here are some helpful hints. This book was my favorite book from my childhood. Yes, many, many years ago. The author is Marjorie Flack. Marjorie had a knack for dramatizing situations and pairing great illustrations with simple text. The main character is Danny and Danny asks animals for advice to find his mother the perfect birthday gift. Can you guess the title of this book? The answer is, ask Mr. Bear. Hi, this is Miss Andrea from the Hickory Corner Branch, and I have a question for you about famous author, Dr. Seuss. You know that he wrote books like Cat in the Hat and Green Eggs and Ham, but do you know his real name? Bonus question, he also wrote books under another name. Can you name that name too? Okay, his real name was Theodore Seuss Geisel, but he also wrote books under the name Theo Lesage, and Lesage is Geisel, spelled backwards. Hi, it's Chrissy from the Hickory Corner Branch, and I have a question for you about the very popular children's book series, Captain Underpants by Dave Pilkey. In the stories, there's two main characters, Harold and George, and their names were inspired by characters from two other well-known children's books. Do you know what books those are? If you need a hint, I can tell you that Dave Pilkey was in second grade when he started drawing Captain Underpants. So he got his inspiration from book, two books that he knew at that time that he had read by second grade. If you guessed Harold and the Purple Crown and Curious George, you're correct. If you didn't get it, now you know something new. So you're a winner either way. Hi everyone, Christine here from the Hollowbrook branch of the Mercer County Library System. And my question for you is, what practically perfect Disney movie is based on a children's book by P.L. Travers? And the answer is Mary Poppins. Hi, I'm Laura from Lawrence Branch. My question is this. In the young adult novel, Fever 1793, written by American author Laurie Hulse Anderson, in which city does the story take place? A, Havana, B, Quebec, C, St. Augustine, D, Colonial Williamsburg, or E, Colonial Philadelphia? What do you think? 
The answer is E, Colonial Philadelphia. Hi, I'm Miss Connie from the Hopo Branch. Here's my question. In the Arthur series, written by Mark Brown, Arthur has a little sister named D.W. What does D.W. stand for? D.W. stands for Dora Winifred. Mino and her sister Mushroom are anxiously awaiting our next question, which comes from Jackie at the Lawrence Branch. Hi, friends. Okay, here's a question. In what book did a boy who was at summer camp find out that a father he'd never met was really the Greek god Poseidon? Dun. How many of you said The Lightning Thief? The first book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. Good job. Hi everyone, this is Jen Crabtree from the Lawrence Branch of the Mercer County Library System. My question for you is about the Lar Numeroff book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Here's my question. If you give a mouse a cookie, what will he ask for next? A glass of milk! And if you want to find out what that leads to, check out the rest of the story. Hopefully everyone enjoyed that uh, trivia quiz. I know I did. Some interesting questions, books that reminded me of our son's childhood and my own childhood. So um, hopefully everybody enjoyed that. And we'll be back with another trivia quiz down the line. Remember, we have plenty of good resources out there for you um, on our website, mcl.org, and on the YouTube channel. Plenty of great videos. Everyone stay safe.